Yeah, phenomenon of air trapping is seen in restricted lung disease, COPD, foreign body inhalation, pneumonia, both B and C. Yeah, now let's see the important aspect of air trapping and COPD. Yeah, in emphysema, due to excess of free radicals produced by either smoking or alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, the proteolytic enzymes are elevated leading to damage of elastic tissues of the lung. Yeah, now let's see a type of emphysema where it is due to uh, prolonged smoking, smoke goes up, it affects the respiratory bronchioles specifically and the air alveoli are spared. Okay, and you can remember like since smoke goes up, it affects the upper lobe. So it is mostly in association with chronic bronchitis. Nothing but centri asinar emphysema because only center part is involved, alveoli are spared. Next is panacinar emphysema affecting the respiratory bronchioles as well as the alveoli. Everything is enlarged here. It is due to alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Lower lobes are involved and everything, respiratory bronchiole and alveoli are affected. And if you see in congenital alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, there will be liver involvement more than lung involvement. Normally, this alpha-1 antitrypsin will protect our body against attack of protease enzymes. Next important concept during expiration, what happens is the bronchial lumen should not collapse during expiration. For that, elastic fibers are there which will prevent the collapse so that the air escapes out happily. In emphysema, there is not only destruction of elastic fibers on the alveoli but also this elastic fiber supporting the bronchial lumen. So, no support now, bronchi collapse during expiration, then air gets trapped here itself leading to elevated residual volume it can form bulla as well as the bulla can rupture leading to pneumothorax in COPD patients so when you ask the patient to expire forcefully after taking a deep inspiration which is peak expiratory flow rate they can't reach the peak easily so there will be a drop in peak expiratory flow rate in COPD patients as well as if you see in asthma there will be bronchospasm so the mid part of expiration will be prolonged leading to elevation of mid expiratory flow rate thus in COPD if you include chronic bronchitis as well as asthma both needs monitoring and next interesting part is foreign body inhalation in foreign body if it is small in such a way that it can uh, go and lodge in the bronchus so it, in inspiration bronchi will dilate Air can pass and fills the alveoli, but in expiration, this bronchus gets blocked and leads to air trapping. So, this air trapping can also cause uh, same conditions. Residual volume increase, pneumothorax rupture, everything can happen. Next is this large foreign body will completely block the bronchi. Even in inspiration, air can't enter leading to lung collapse or atrial ectasis. Yeah, that's it for the day. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe our channel for further discussion videos like this. Thank you.